where Falco's gonna have to use like his high jumps a lot to bait out stuff like Electrical and Godfist because you, you definitely don't want to be boxing with this guy. You know? Absolutely not. Already we see Kelly Farah pulling out some lasers, which I also feel will be pretty important for this sort of matchup. You know, like you said, you don't want to be dealing with Kazuya up close because then you get electric. All right, only yeah. a little bit. Good DI in, knowing that that would let him attack on the platform. Definitely Ooh. was very necessary. Ooh. All right, some lasers the wrong way, but Kelly Farah uh, kind of came on, on top in that interaction. And I really feel like this is just going to be one of those game or one of those matchups where it's going to be so important to maximize what you get out of your neutral wins. Both of these characters are just explosive. We see Kelly Farah playing it safe right there, just kind of running up on uh, Skeet's oh. shield while Skeet's throwing out all of these dragon uppercuts. Yeah, it was interesting. We got like a late hit of the dragon uppercut, didn't manage to kill, and now that back air is going to be really important in catching Kazuya's really slow, long jump. Yeah, that was actually great spacing on Califera, getting that first stock uh, just barely spaced outside of Kazuya's up B out of shield, which I think potentially could have gotten Skeet the first stock instead of Califera. Ooh. That move is funny. I, I never see Kazuya use that. <laughs> yeah, the, the rollover move. Yeah. I love it. It's very goofy, and it's also like way too strong for its own good. It kills? I, yeah. I, I genuinely never see that. It so. super kills. That's good to know. I hope we get to see it kill at this point, but also been killing Falco's back air. It's really important. This percent, I feel like, for um, Cali Farah to like try and think of how you're going to kill Kazuya before he gets too high. You know, like this right here, you want to get that up tilt that ledge. You don't want to oh. live much longer. Okay. Quick 40% to even it up. Yeah, good for Cali Farah there that he was on the other side of the stage when he got grabbed there. And, you know, that's a rage off the board that didn't net Skeet a stop, which is really huge for this matchup. Oh, we got some ledge scrambles. Cali has been catching these jumps, but that uh, back there was starting a bit too early. Only the late hit hit uh, Skeet right here. And once again, Skeet's been getting caught in the air a bunch. Yeah, Cali Ferret. Oh, a <laughs> uh, regular back throw that wasn't the like command throw. Yeah. I, oh. I like the idea there, uh, but it was a bit too telegraphed. But Cali Ferret evening things right back up. Yeah, using that invincibility to just mash on Kazi a bit. Oh, that was cute. Trick, yeah, a little tricky with these up Bs, you know. Did hurt him to lose that second stock, but it's definitely nice. It's pretty tough to react, especially if you're like Kazuya, not the fastest, so. Interesting stuff. Okay. I like uh, what Skeet did there with that um, with that back air after the electric. Uh, realized that he wasn't able, he wasn't going to be getting uh, much more after the DI from the electric. Dead even game right now. 72 on both sides. Skeet just throwing out these punches. He is swinging. Cali Farah is not biting right now, but Rage is back on board. You're super dead. Oh, yeah. Lord. And that's got to be so frustrating for Cali Farah going into the next game. It's like sometimes against Kazuya, you feel like you didn't do anything wrong and you still lost. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, absolutely. Right there, I mean, it, it's de it definitely as an exaggeration. Uh, Skeet did catch Cali Farah kind of pressing that up tilt, I believe, because it's a little telegraph. Or it was an up smash. Because it's been a bit telegraphed that like Cali has been doing jump back airs a bunch on ledge, you know, reading him jumping from ledge. So at the end right there, he said, I'm going to roll now because I know Cali is looking for a jump. And great decisions like that won you the game. So let's see if Skeet is able to keep that up. Cali has done a good job catching him in the air, but if he's going to mix it up like that, you can end up being caught from your jump and get electric wing god fisted. So scary stuff. All right, let's see. It looks like we're going into PS2 for our game two right now. And I definitely want to see what we saw from Califera in game one, which is just that great patience that we saw from him, great spacing. Meanwhile, Skeet is just, he's, he's pressing buttons right now. He was able to get an electric, but not too much out of it. And another the uh, jab sequence. 
And I feel like for speed a lot of time, I feel like he just doesn't know what to do when he saw like Calipari literally jump back and forth over and over. And it's like with Kazuya, like, how do you catch that? You know, you have you are the only character with a frame six jump squad in this game. It's Falco, I feel like, can press jump kind of free if he's at a bit of a distance, so I feel like Skeet's going to figure out how he can stay close enough to where Calicara can't jump for free. Or try to catch the landings, read the landings. Right, and I mean, I think that does kind of play into uh, Calipara's picks right now. Is, you know, those PS2 platforms are going to be a little bit of a help in that regard. Yeah, 100%. The... I believe we started Town last time, which I'm honestly quite... I mean, I understand why Falcors, you know, normally love Town. But against Kazuya, you really want to never give him a platformless situation, because he just becomes... He shoots up on the tier with such an insane amount, yeah. and you can't have platforms for safety. So, I definitely like this PS2 counter pick. I think Califera realized Town says just a bit too much power to give Kazuya, even though it does benefit Falco a lot in most matchups. All right, and that was an electric to up B. I feel like that's the first like normal electric confirm we've seen. Right? <laughs> I feel like it's been kind of some some clunky kills lately. So definitely, I feel like Skeet, you know, it's he's keeping it close in the way he's currently playing. But if he can just get like one Kazuya combo going, he could definitely run away with the game. Like he hasn't been getting huge strings so far. And that's so tough for Kazuya. Like Kazuya just can't react fast enough and get there. Like he has to read where you go. Ooh, an advised roll in. Getting Califera another opening. Skeet does have Rage on board. Not finding it that time. Oh, and trying to force it a bit. It's like, if Califera can just kind of stay out of Kazuya's burst range, which granted is pretty large. Oh, that was clean. That was clean. And that was a very extended zero to death, I believe. Yeah, I think so. So uh, Califera, you know, just like I was saying at the beginning of this game, just playing clean, not letting Skeet, you know, start to play the Kazuya game. Yeah, and, and the reason that Zero Death was so extended is because he didn't do a crazy combo, but, like, he knows that if he stays at the spacing he is with the platforms, it's really tough for Skeet to do anything with that Falco jump, you know, so he just got his damage slowly over time and led to a very slow Zero to Death, but looking a bit faster this time, getting some combos going. And this is, I believe, Kazuya's jumpless right now. Oh! Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, still Ooh, jumpless, taunt, though. though. Yeah. Oh, okay. S excuse me. I thought he lost a jump. My bad. Okay, nice parry there on the laser, but, you know, Chalifer's ready for those lasers. Yeah. Of Kazuya variety. Hey, Age is gone. I wonder, you know, Falco. Ooh. All right, nice stuff. But yeah, Falco's, um. Falco's reflection, I believe, comes out frame one. Mm -hmm. So I, I think you can just straight up react to Kazuya's laser with Falco, like, and reflect it. Like, it's so slow with such a big startup. Yeah. I, I think it's uh, it's honestly not very good against Falco unless like you're confidently calling out a jump that he's like not ready for. Yeah, no, Kazuya, he he puts his whole chest into throwing that laser. Yeah, it takes a, it takes a hot minute. Oh, and small battlefield being counter and picked. I mean. Definitely makes sense that FD and Kalos were banned, so uh, seems like, you know, this is the closest he can he feels like he can get to no platforms. Small battlefield though, I feel like a lot of the same strengths of PS2 are gonna apply here. You know, the smaller stage doesn't take away from the fact that there's two platforms. But maybe Kazuya has some better platform conversions on small battlefield. Maybe. I am a little bit curious as to why uh, TNC was yeah, left me open. Too. I, I wasn't sure if it's like a do we have uh, uh no we don't have we don't. DSR. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure why Town City was not picked either. I mean I understand it is good for Falco, but as we clearly saw, really strong for Kazuya as well. Well, you know, you just want no platforms anytime you can. Skeet got the crumple, but just was put into too long of a tech animation yeah. to really get anything out of it. They're both just chilling for a second. That's a get up. And also, thank you for whoever gave 25 cents to the Masherino. Let's get to $42.00 for 420. Uh, anyone who helps, <laughs> greatly appreciate it. Yeah, Skeet's just been... The story of the set has been Skeet's been throwing out hitboxes. It's just, you know, is Kaylee Farah yeah. running into him? I think he's, like, getting frustrated. Like, how are you catching? Look how Califera's played. He's just running away with his jump, and it's far too fast for Kazuya to catch it. Skeet needs to find one opportunity and, like, to get a mile off of it, basically. And, because, oh, my God, yeah. You can tell Kaylee Farah is playing the frustration game. Uh -huh. And I do want to point out that last time that Kaylee Farah went to the ledge, he saw that Skeet started to fade back towards the other platform, 
and then went back to the the same ledge that he was on. Halo Fair is really almost a pseudo Sonic style game plan right now. Yeah, it's what you have to do against Kazuya. Like, I'll never fault anyone for camping against this monster of a character. You cannot be close to him. Mm -hmm. But I will say, this you know, dude's doing strings. Oh, crazy string, dude! Those inputs were crazy. <laughs> in the in the words of a legend, this dude's doing strings. Yeah, but right there, you know, that 10 hit combo, that's gotta be a little bit of a confidence booster, landing something that silly. Um, oh, if this could be a kill. You there know we what? go. He's taunting, and I, I tell you, I've been learning more and more. I never taunt. I never taunt till it says game, because oh, some, yeah. some, something, some bad omen is gonna come my way. <laughs> and right now, we have a lead after this taunt right here, and now uh, Skeet's like, okay, you can camp me, I'm winning. Yeah, keep camping, see what happens. Throw some lasers, see what happens. Oh, all right. It's stacking up. I like the idea. I like the idea with that. Oh, oh another one oh almost Lord. taking Kaylee Farah's <laughs> stock. That is so strong. Oh, Kaylee Farah, don't let it be you. Don't oh. get taught to body. Oh, <laughs> this dear. is why you never taught, especially against Kazuya. It's, it's crazy. You cannot test your luck against this character. Oh, that was a really uh, floaty upbeat there. Uh, Kaylee Farah didn't react quite in time to catch Kazuya poking his head above the ledge. Yeah, and that was a very free down smash. Ooh. And right now, I mean, like, you know, Skeet has, does not do anything. Calipar has to come to him, so his whole game plan is now, you know, kind of thrown out the window. You gotta think of how you're gonna mix it up with Falco. Closing out the stock here on this ledge would be so huge. Oh, he got the crumple. The classic. Okay. Oh, missing it, but still, so Auto much damage. Don't let it be you. He, let it become him. I, I said you, you can't be taunting. I, it, it's, I just, I've, I've retired from taunting I, <laughs> for, because I see too many disasters like that happen. That being said, you know, it's Calipari was doing a really good job. It's just against Kazuya, stuff like that can't happen. You can't just lose your stock and even at a way lower percent. You know, he had a lead, and yeah, look at that. And then pre I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, he. He kills him right here and then proceeds to kind of not get hit for a pretty long time. He really did. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the per, uh, percent differential between uh, this clip and the last one. Skeet had, I think, 11 at the end of the last one. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely, like, I think Cali Farah kind of abandoned his game plan a bit. I think, like, and he he's like once he realized he can't camp anymore, I don't think he had a backup strategy. You know, you got to have strategies for you know, what to do when you're having the lead, but you can't always guarantee you're in the lead against Kazuya. You, know, you have mm -hmm. to think of how can you bait out his moves to start getting your own things going to make a comeback, you know? How how can you take your deficit and make the Kazuya overconfident and make the Kazuya do something that you can then punish? Oh my God, it's so disorienting. Yeah, and I, I think uh, 